Hi everyone. So I've been doing some self-reflecting recently and I've been realizing that I have a responsibility to create more content and bring more um, of the lessons and ideas and experiences forth from my own life to, for the benefit of the world and to help people because I, I think that my own struggles are very similar to a lot of the struggles that other people in the world are going through. Yeah. You know, one of the lessons that I've um, read in books, listened to on podcasts, but I'm really starting to experience within my own life is that our self-esteem and our self-respect is derived from our ability to follow through on the things that we say we're going to do, right? That's integrity. Being in alignment, being in conscience congruence, being following through on the things you say you're going to do, just plain and simple. That is a muscle. When you say you're going to do anything, like every time that you follow through, you're developing your integrity muscle. You're developing your muscle of follow through. And on another level, you're developing your own self sense of self-respect, your own sense of self-esteem. A simple example, there's just something that I've been struggling with, especially is getting up early consistently. Yes, yesterday I woke up at 5 a.m. Hooray for me. I did a workout. I did blah, 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 blah. That doesn't matter because today I slept until 8.30, not needing the sleep. I think it's really important to give, get good sleep, you know, get six hours, seven and a half hours, whatever your body personally needs. But if I'm setting the intention that I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. and then I don't, then what I'm showing myself through my action is that I'm not a man of my word. I'm not a man of integrity. And that really over time starts to deteriorate my level of self-respect and self-confidence. And in, in positions like sales, when I'm knocking on someone's door and I really have to present myself enthusiastically with conviction, if I lack conviction and I lack self-respect, I'm going to translate that into my work environment. And our self-identity is really developed by consistent 1% actions every single day. Like there's a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear where he talks about how every, you know, every decision we make, it's like a tiny little vote in the ballot box for the person that we're becoming or the person we're choosing to become. And I'll leave you with this. So executing on our micro decisions empowers us to execute on the macro decisions because we prove to ourselves through those consistent actions that I'm someone, I'm the kind of person who always follows through on the things I say I'm going to do. Again, I'm a novice with all this shit, and I'm learning every single day and um, reflecting so that I can see where I did follow through and where I have room to grow. And I think it's really important, too, for us to celebrate our wins and celebrate our victories. Um, so that's part of my practice with within journaling, like a gratitude journal, getting better at doing that every day. <laughs> Haven't been. I will do it tonight. Um, gratitude journal and then at the, in, the, in the morning optimally and then at the end of the day um, I, I take time and I, I write down all the things that were my little micro wins for the day and I allow myself to really feel that that pride that sense of wow I did this right I did well and then also I do like an, an AAR an after action report where I'll be like okay these were my goals this was my follow through and a really good friend and mentor of mine taught me to use this this way of orchestrating your daily goals where you have your health your wealth personal development family and friends spirituality and community and something something he says is is if your goals are important enough to you you will write them down every single day and that is such a game changer because it gives you so much clarity it's like climbing a mountain with a map to climb the mountain instead of just like aimlessly floating and drifting so I hope that is a benefit to you all, anyone who chooses to tune in and listen to this or watch it. Um, I love you all so much. We will talk again soon. Blessings.